let's begin. We're gonna go through this. Um, as you guys know, I have made my own tier lists in the past, but uh, it's cool to finally have an official one. Any player within the top 101 of six global rankings covering a majority of 2022 were eligible to be part of the panel for the list. So it was panel based, all right? Uh, rounding out our lovely bottom, 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 bottom tier. How official is this tier list? This isn't by Nintendo, is it? Trust me, dude. If Nintendo made a tier list, it would make it less official, not more. All right, so we got D tier. There's D minus, D plus. Uh, Ganondorf is the worst character to uh, to no one's surprise. Uh, Little Mac, second worst, also to no one's surprise. But they're in their own tier, right? Usually they're joined by Dr. Mario in this tier as well, doing that um, at the bottom three. But you'll see some changes here. This is all panel based by 71 different players, okay? So the, the, and the very, very worst tier is Ganondorf and Little Mac. And again, they're both marred horribly uh, by their lack of results, by their lack of recovery, lack of pure options. Although Little Mac can be a huge matchup check for a lot of people. Then again, if you know how to edge guard, you should be fine. A lot of different regions actually have Little Mac in various places. Japan thinks much more highly of Little Mac, but of course, in North America, apart from Pina and Quaz and a few others. Ganondorf, one of the only characters that just doesn't even win locals, really. Maybe Waifu would be close, but yeah. D plus tier, from the very bottom. Look at this. We have a new third worst character. We have a new worst heavy. The third worst character in the game is officially King Dedede. Eat your heart out. It is King Dedede. Dr. Mario, is in D plus King Dedede. Um, he's definitely a a menace online, but man, he has a lot of issues playing him, especially in person. You know, the one premier Dedede performance that could have happened was either in Japan or at a Misket Summit, and even that and wasn't great. Uh, Doctor Mario, we've seen a lot more docs, right? I've seen this character actually do a lot of work. Uh, guys like Bacon, guys like Jazar. Uh, you know, it's 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 been cool to see how much they've been pushing the character, especially in IRL too. Doc seems like weirdly enough, out of every character in this bottom tier, Doc seems like the one that could actually do the biggest run for and Mabel as well that can do the biggest run in IRL brackets, right? Everyone in chat, name a Doctor Mario player that you know in your region or IRL that has impressed you. That's actually gone on a run in bracket. It's really really cool, uh, even in nationals. Right above him is me, Sword Fighter. Uh, not too surprising here, me, Sword Fighter, fifth worst character. Definitely the worst of the me's. Uh, by and far less options, especially compared to someone like Brawler. It's not even close. Um, for a swordy, his range is small. His his kind of his setups are kind of more cheesy and gimmicks. Decent mix-ups you can do with projectiles. Recovery is very very lacking. Um, there's not much point to play this character when there's so many other swords you can play. I think uh, he's got some decent reps, but nothing compared to the other uh, me's as well. Piranha Plant, uh, when I think of a good plant, like Sen comes to mind, but it's, it's, and maybe Diz from Florida, it's hard to imagine like a solo Piranha Plant. I don't think Piranha Plant is ever, or very rarely, solo main. There's Brood in Japan, right? He's very rarely solo main, and the reason is because he's shitty. He has one of the worst backers in the game. Arrow game is not very good. They can do a lot of damage and inflict a lot of things and kill you early with a really strong up smash, charging up down B as you do it. Patui, all those things, but... Character is lacking in so many ways. Um, heavy though, survived a long time. Uh, but one of Lucky, thank you. L Lucky is one of the few reps that can actually do it. All right, uh, then we got Kirby. Um, you know, Kirby. Uh, I love Kirby, but a lot of these low tiers in general shouldn't really surprise you. Uh, Kirby, while. You can get matchup check pretty hard. You can low profile a lot of things. You can be creative with how you use someone else's uh, neutral B move with inhale. You could also do the, the suck and cuck and just, and just give them in general. Still doesn't have enough of the survivability or enough of the range or enough of the speed to push him anywhere above D tier on this list. And again, guys, this is D plus and D minus tier we're seeing here. Um, Zelda as well, definitely hampered by her lack of speed. Uh, and also when she commits to a move, she kind of has to stay with it, whether it's the, whether it's her down B night, whether it's the neutral B, whether it's Din's flame, Din's fire, uh, her recovery, which can, has a decent distance, but also like has a long cooldown. Your bet, her, her main strategy is just, you know, exhausting people with the amount of like neutral Bs you can do, spamming moves and all that. That's fine too. Uh, but still, 
To round out our D tier, you got K Rule and Isabel. Uh, K Rule and Isabel. Like, K Rule is. I, I always thought he was slightly better than King Dedede. Um, we've seen people like Kirby Kid and, of course, uh, Huto in Japan do some really good stuff, but he is simply combo food for the entire cast. I mean, when I'm I'm a puff player, when I when I get matched up against the K Rule, I just I just I I, I I a sigh of relief, you know what I mean? Because I know you can just do like one and ball from Japan, thank you. You can just do one good combo setup and he can take seventy percent. Recovery is very very linear. Um, is you know propeller protect, like protects him, but as long as you can get underneath him, it's fine. And um, yeah, you just can't get you can't get too much in his face. You just gotta like wait for the whiff. Isabel is just the strictly worst villager. She has some cool, cool cheese with the fishing rod. She has some cool, interesting jab lock setups with jab into up smash. A lot of little quirky things you can do here and there. Um, but again, super lightweight, very little range, um, and you know it's just she takes she it takes a hard read for her to get a kill a lot of the time. But you can you can you can just definitely bleed people out. You know you can definitely uh, put down you know. Uh, down B and rockets into the ground and, and catch people off guard. But as long as you're patient, she gets definitely waxed out. And that is your D tier. Moving up! Your C minus tier. Ike. Through. Bowser Jr. Uh, Lucario, surprisingly, is not in the lowest tier, which is kind of nice to see. I think, uh, players like Armadillo have been showing that he's, you know, combat potential is absolutely wild. Whereas players like Ketchup, Yoda Cage, my brother, um, my own personal brother, um, and some others have been really showing, uh, how tricky Bowser Jr. can be. Also has a lot of, you know, very, very huge, uh, kill potential with his smash attacks. Uh, Mega Koopas can get in the way pretty often if you're not careful. And of course the up B into Hammer, uh, super early kill move. He, this is already where the character's trickiness starts to be much, much more effective. Zap, thank you, Zap. Um, character's effectiveness and trickiness starts to be a lot more effective. And that's, I think, this gap of tears right here. Lucario, combat potential alone is insane with rage. I think Lucario has got slight buffs in the last few patches, if I recall correctly. I have to take a look at it. Uh, DK. I mean, you've always got good DK reps. You've always got uh, you got guys like Chucky Kong, who was able to beat two moist players in a row at Let's Make Big Moves Miami. Um, he's a huge target as well, but what he, he what he lacks in speed, he makes up for in confirms he gets off of grabs, confirms he gets off of that reverse down B he does in the air. Got a lot of ways to gimmick you uh, off the stage too, believe it or not. And of course, Donkey Punch, great burst option. Uh, great, great way to find an early kill. And with Rage, it's insane. He does have really bad end lag, um, but, uh, you know, this, this character can kill anyone uh, at relatively early percents, just the way he's designed, which I think we all know. Um, recovery is not very good, too, though. And uh, I'm not surprised that Villager is just one tier above Isabel. Like I said, the characters aren't exactly great. He has a few reps, of course, I think kept in Japan. Being the biggest one, uh, he's got ways you can set up good ledge traps with a tree. He's got ways to annoy you with with um, this fair and bear. Bowling ball is basically rest in smash tech format. Insane kill potential, shovel grounds you. Uh, side B is great for recovery tool. He's got ways to live for a long time. Um, and also, uh, shout outs to Bobby Wasabi, who really, I thought was pushing the character in North America pretty hard. But he's still limited, of course. He can only do so much. He doesn't have a lot of that X factor that a lot of other characters in this game do. Um, but I think I agree with him being one tier above it. Uh, you got Simon and Richter right here, too. And lately, I, I've been agreeing more and more with this. Simon and Richter remind me of, like, the Zelda and the Villager and the Isabelle. Like, you know, you just put out as many things as you possibly can. And you pray to the gods that they connect. But if you have someone patient enough to go around all projectiles, around the Holy Water, around the, the Dombos, as I call them. T3 Dom being... Uh, best rep of this character, I would say. Um, you can do really, really well, but I think more so it, feel, it feels like a matchup check in a lot of ways. You know what I mean? Feels like feels like something that if you're not familiar with, you're gonna get three stocked, kind of like Little Mac a little bit. But all it takes is like playing against a character for like maybe 20 minutes, and you're like, oh, it's just a pattern. It's a holy water. It's a cross. It's an axe. It's a holy water. It's a cross. Axe. Axe. Cross. Holy water. Chain. Chain. Avoid the tilts. Avoid the up tilts. Avoid the long range smash attacks. And to recover, he's gonna usually go for the chain. And his recovery is really not that good if you know how to read where he's going. 
Patience is key for some of these characters. Um, then you have two characters which both feature a mammal carrying a bird around. Kind of funny. Haha. <laughs> I'm not surprised next to each other. Uh, Duck Hunt really requires you to be able... What I hate about Duck Hunt is like, the amount of work it requires to play this character, and you don't even get like that much out of it. All that work to control you and the can and the, the clay and the range and the recovery all at once, and the character can still get snuffed out pretty hard off the stage. I noticed that if you know how to deal with can, especially, if a character has a move that goes through the can or kicks the can back, that's the key to being this character. And it's it's good design. I mean, it, otherwise, it would be just really, really annoying. Um, whereas Banjo, and I think Banjo, correct me if I'm wrong, Banjo is the officially now the worst character of the Fighter's Pass, not including Plant. If we don't include Plant, ba Banjo is the worst character in the Fighter's Pass officially now. Which shouldn't be surprising. He's slow. They could have upped his speed so hard and made him more of a rushdown character, but he's simply slow. He's floaty. He has to take a long time with his grenades, get a good read with his Wonder Wing, um, slow recovery. Pretty strong smash attacks that take a while to come out. You can ground people. It's just you don't you don't get like you don't get the mileage you would think of the character that requires the reads that Banjo does. He's similar to Tierra Villager in Zelda. He's a bleed you out character. You have to annoy people to win. And um, that's simply where he is. Uh, I do not foresee any Banjo player really making that much more of a run than he already has in the current meta. Maybe there's one who goes on a good run, but I don't think it'll be consistent. There's simply too much counterplay at this point. And now we come to my first disagreement on the list, which is Ike. I don't believe in Ike. Oh my god. I'll get to that in a second. <laughs> I don't believe in, in Ike uh, being this low. Uh, like, his kill potential is already, like, way, way good enough to, like, scare a lot of people. His Nair is insane, up, be out of shield. It might just be because of his speed, right? And this would put this would make Ike the worst swordy in the game if you don't include me, sword fighter. Um, I don't know. I think I think there's gonna be another Ike player to push him forward. I think he should be at least C plus, maybe B minus. Um, but again, you have to remember, you have to remember, Ultimate is a very very balanced game. This kind of stuff shouldn't be too surprising. You're gonna have characters like that do this. Uh, you're gonna have very, a lot of characters lumped into this middle tier. Um, but now we go to C plus. Uh, C plus, you got We Fit Trainer at the very top. We'll go, we'll go there actually. Uh, in in Incineroar, yeah, I think this is a fair play for Incineroar. Remember, C C C and B are gonna have a lot of middle tiers, so I'm not gonna go spend too much time on each individual character. Um, in Incineroar, you see what Skyjay can do. Skyjay is Incineroar. Skyjay shows the potential of the character. I think any of these characters could actually win a regional top eight of a major. Um, absolute. Uh, in bonkers kill potential if you get a good read with the with the uh with the alolan whip larry at a shield really good kill potential up smash nair fair bear he's a strong cat you know what he is he's a strong cat with very capable recovery but he's strong enough that it pushes him up this year too i feel like mewtwo needs more reps apart from wadi and um i forget the other one but mewtwo also suffers from from a lack of lack of speed and very big hitbox especially on the tail Mewtwo also suffers from the fact that um, I, Mewtwo is one of the fastest characters in the game. I don't know about that. Like, he, 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 he can be very slick on the ground, but he's got a lot of air mobility. But when he commits to a movement, like, he, he kind of acts like a sitting duck a lot of the time. Also, when I think of fast, I think of, like, I think of, like, Sonic. I think of Mithra. I think of, I think of, like, I think of like Roy. I don't know. Like <sighs> I I th I think the tail is is the main the main the main reason that his his like entire move set and being crumbles. He's too big. <laughs> I think we can all agree with that. And it hurts him. Make him smaller. If Mew was a character, top tier. Yeah, Starb is a great either. Robin, uh, a lot of people consider Rob Robin like the true matchup check of the whole game. 
Um, right, like, I, I no longer really struggle with Robin, but certain players recently have really been putting in the work to making this character uh, do some incredible stuff. Angel is one that comes to mind. I think Odin used to play Robin, have decent results, but switched to Steve. Um, and Robin also, uh, if you know how to use um, Levin's sword, know how to charge his spells, know how to do enough mix-ups, and know how to use Nosferatu, uh, one of the few moves in the game that gives you both a uh, recovery, op recovery on HP and uh, hurt your opponent too. Also, crazy, crazy Let's Trap with the Fire. Um, and if you know how to use good Z dropping, know how to use the book. Like I said, you can do inflict a lot of mental damage too uh, with this character. So not too surprising there. You got me sort me a uh, me gunner rather. After that, me gunner a uh, second. You know, you got me sort of fighter down here in, in D tier. Me gunner up here in C tier plus. I'm not too surprised either. Capitan Sito especially is one of the players that has been really really impressive with this character, uh, showing what good patient play does. How you can sort of dominate an entire stage, the space of a stage with the character due to uh, me gunner's amazing amazing range. So that's not too surprising. Uh, definitely has some flaws, definitely struggles off the stage, although the recovery tool that, that Gunner does have can be tricky in terms of which way you lean it. Um, as long as you get close enough and far enough, their, their distance of recovery isn't, isn't very, very, uh, very good. Um, well, the enemy character, you can change the moveset a lot and be, uh, pushed a little bit better. Ridley? Woo! Ridley! He's so big! Problem is he's so lightweight! He should not be that lightweight. I think he's held back by his his weight alone, but it kind of balances him in the same way too. Um, insanely good rage, uh, you know, range, where the aerials and tilt and all that. Definitely like that too. Uh, some ledge traps too, and you can also do like, you know, find ways to use that side B to get some early kills. Up smash comes out pretty quick, but it's like, I, th I do agree he's, he's higher than I thought he would be. I thought he would be like down here, maybe even top of D. Um, but, uh, Nair is carried by, uh, his rep, uh, the few reps that he has. One of them, ironically, his name is Nair from Mexico. Um, showing this shit I can do. I know Plup used to play Ridley a little bit as well. Um, can get early kills, but, uh, yeah. Someone said useless down B. Down B, of course, does like 60%, but it's just one of those moves that's complete cheese, and it's not really too reliable. Um... Funny part is more so like 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 what is also recovery is weird because it only has like a few angles you can actually use. Down air is absolute trash. Then you got my main. Jigglypuff. All I'm gonna say about this is the lower puff is in this list, the more Johns I get. So you know what C tier? That works for me. Me and base had puff maybe low middle tier up here, but you know what? I'm, I'm I'm cool with puff being low tier. I'm cool with it. I officially am in a low tier character. And I'm the only low tier going to summit. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I think. Uh, but I do think Puff is better than Lucas. Puff, I mean, you know. One of the best coverage in the game. Cool dare loops. Rest setups are great. Rest is one of the strongest kill moves in the game. Kills most of the cast 50 or above. Um, and or 55 or above. Uh, but struggles for how damn lightweight she is. Struggles the fact that her backer turns her around. Uh, she dies pretty damn early. Um, and I still hate the fact that uh, Sing doesn't work the way it should. If they fix Puff Sing, she'd be A tier. Okay, not A tier, B tier. Um, Lucas, uh, a worse Ness, as I say. Better recovery than Ness. He has the grapple and a longer up B. But doesn't have quite the absolute like kill uh, the threatening the threatened of of a, your death present there as Ness does. Ness has, of course, a way more annoying PK fire. Lucas PK fire kills, but it has you can't spam it as much. Uh, and then with, with Lucas, of course, uh, you have more of a multi hit nair. Um, you've got a back air that's a spike rather than a kill. You got an up air, but not as strong as Ness's up air. Um, and then you've got. Um, Really strong up smash, but with a lot of startup. Um, and he's a lot harder to play than Ness, I would say. You, you put in a lot more work for less of the result. Um, so unless you just like the way Lucas handles, you like using that PK freeze, you like using sort of his um, his little like on the ground combos, 
He's like a wackier Ness, but I think you just play Ness if you're a starter player. Then you got Wii Fit Trainer. Uh, again, Wii Fit. Uh, really unique character. Uh, depends on how well you can use deep breathing and find those hard hits. Her posture makes her tricky to hit. Very slender character with the frame. But she's strange. She's very strange to play as and play against. Uh, I think Soccer Ball is still one of the best projectiles. You can aim it. You can use it as a spike. Uh, recovery is pretty decent, too, with that multi-hit hula hoop. Um, but uh, deep breathing right here is what makes this character good. Some people earlier, like a couple of years ago, were saying we fit could be a high-tier character. But it's clear no one has found the results yet. Or some people have found the results, but not nearly as high to justify it. I still think someone can push the character further. I think I think Ver uh, Verun could push this character even further. And if you play against a really good one, you'll see what I mean. Uh, along with some others. She's not that high because none of her good reps uh, can attend majors. True. All right, B tier. Okay, this. Look at Ice Climbers. Look at the jump Ices have made. Ices used to be like bottom 10. Ices was some of the, the biggest jump in the whole list. That's thanks to Big D. That's thanks to Futa no Kimiwara. That's thanks to Harasen. That's thanks to a lot of players that are doing well. This character is a threat. This character can win. Win big tournaments. Um, clearly there was some, there was, you can tell that when they're, I call these a corner, if you're in the very, very bottom of a new tier, there was some controversy. And, and of course, no doubt, it's uh, it's gonna be Ice Climbers. But you see what this character can do. They finally figured out how, how this character works and they figured out the absolute potential that they have. I think they should be higher. Press one up, I think I think Icy should be even up here at this point. Because uh, it's shown what you can do. They're next to Pichu. And Pichu, poor Pichu, went from being like top five in the game to all the way down here. What nerfs can do. There's not much I'll say about Pichu. It's, it, you take Pichu, Pikachu, you do everything worse. You add a little bit of mustard into it too. Um, it's uh, it's just sad. They, they really they really good at the Pichu and I think the character's gonna keep falling out of relevance as the meta proceeds. Um, but Neitoru uh, might be the savior of this character. And we'll see how he does at Pichu from France. Had a really good showing at um, Genesis and it is a smaller Pikachu. Trickier Pikachu, so we'll see. Marth as well. I think what's funny was Marth and Isis were the two characters that no one had any fucking idea where to put them. And now they're both here in the same tier. I think Marth has definitely seen some light as well. Not only from MK Leo's crazy counterpick nature with Marth and working miracles with him, but also players like Ignaz from SoCal, uh, other ones who are showing the character. If you know how to handle the character, handle pivots, handle tippers, um, can be super fucking scary. I, I, I hate fighting Marth now, that's puff. Uh, given the recent developments. Um, and now, after that, you got Link. Link is officially now the worst of the three, which I don't really agree with. I I don't know. I, I think I think Link has, Link's like kill power is literally one of the highest in the entire game. He can use his bomb for clever recoveries. He's just he's powerful. He's a powerhouse character. That Nair just so so good. Um, um, I I also think he could have he could have been higher here as well. Um. I think it's a matter of time before Link has a really good run too, especially Japanese Link player. Um, up, he had a shield, great kill move. Nair still broken. Pit and Dark Pit. I wonder how much Zach Gray in just two in just one month has changed what this character would have been. I think I think Pit and Dark Pit would have been would have been uh, C tier, but now pushed them up to B. It's kind of funny. Uh, character's good. The character is 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 about as honest as Abraham Lincoln. You know, you need fun needs to play the character. There's no crazy cheese apart from like side B. The recovery is linear. Um, if you got good fundies, the character will give you some good some good payback. And uh, smat tech are decent. Aerials are decent. Um, multiple jumps, decent projectile, decency across the board. Um, fundies, Lord. Then you got Meta Knight, which is like pit, but kind of cracked out in a weird way. Also multiple jumps, also really good aerials, like four kinds of recoveries. But I think when Meta Knight really, really um, excels is that Meta Knight has specific matchups that just are the bane of certain people's existence. I think Meta Knight, Meta Knight K rule is like a plus three or something like that. Um, apart from other ones. He, the way he can kill you off the stage and combo you with like up air, up air, up air, up air, up B or down air, down air, down air um, with, or up air with, with uh, Tornado off the side 
Um, yeah, Meta Knight Min Min. Yeah, exactly. Players like Bonk have really shown this character is like, he's like the, uh, like the antidote. He's like the vaccine against certain characters that just compl there's no point against playing them. So um, I think like he has some of the most 80-20 matchups for being as low as he is on the list. And that's what makes him unique. Uh, granted, obviously, I'm the powerhouse that he was in Brawl, but thank God for that. You got Bowser, which I think Bowser in B tier, he makes sense. He is a tricky heavy. He has a ton of insane, like, burst options, and, you know, uh, he, his back air and forward smash are insanely strong. Uh, Nair is multi-hit. Single flame breath read does 30%. Up, he had a shield fucking wild. Um, you know, you've got it, up tilt, insanely powerful and insanely fast. Um, and, uh, yeah, his, his flame breath at the at the, what's it called, at the ledge, uh, kind of forces, forces percentage of what it is. Got armor and certain moves. Um, if you really want to see the potential of this character, please watch Leon from North America or watch um, uh, Hikaru, I believe. Oh, no, Hero. Watch Hero from Japan. Great Bowser's. Great Bowser's. In the same tier as Link is going to be young, is going to be Toon Link. Uh, take everything Link has, make it floaty, weaker, faster. Right? Very floaty. And a lot faster. That would be Toon Link. Um, but you've seen players recently push this character up to the list as well. Especially in Florida. Uh, you also got... Hero, sorry. Not Hero. Hero. In Japan. Uh, you've also got players like... Um, i trying to remember who it was. Kobe in Florida. Uh, you got Sigma. Yeah, Marco. Jojo de Hobo. Um, really, really making this character kind of a threat, especially he, uh, when he holds a bomb, uh, just in place and shield, it kind of has like a, like a snake effect too. His floridness allows him to recover a very, very long time as well too. Got a gra he can also grapple to the ledge, which Link can't do. Um, Kobe is young Link and Toon Link. I have a feeling this character is going to go higher on the list. He's like Puff mixed with Link. Kobe also plays Toon Link now. He plays both. Actually, won that regional I went to with local. And Rosalina and Luma, which, uh, you know, one of the least used characters, I would say, across the board. Um, you know, the buzz comes to mind, but I have, ne I have almost never seen, like, a, a, a solo Rosa who doesn't eventually opt to another character. Um, tricky. Luma has some great tricks, great kill power as well, too, with Rage. Um, but she's such a huge, floaty, big target. Light, too. Um, Kind of belongs here as well. I kind of don't agree with Rosa being above Bowser, to be honest. I kind of think Rosa should be over here. Press one if you agree. Anyway. All right. Going back up. We now have the B plus tier. Halfway through. Luigi. Now that there's where the cheese begins. I, I think Luigi should be higher than this. I don't know why Luigi's down here. I'm not going to be A tier for sure. But he's here. Uh, I mean, he, he's a dairy farm. He is, he, is, he is cheese incarnate. Zero to death on the majority of the cast, if you know what you're doing, low percents. Um, wacky ass misfires. Fast, strong up smash. Luigi down B Cyclone literally is a bug that was put into the game, and it was a bug that was never fixed. Um, but he's there. He can easily win majors if he really wants to. Um, he's way too low on this list. This is my biggest disagreement so far. Should be A tier. Inkling went from being uh, number one. Oh, linear recovery also. That's a big weakness. I will agree. His recovery is trash. Very true. But the big, the good Luigi's know how to use it. They, they use side B and they charge it all the way down and the up B can barely come. You can barely cover it. Um, Inkling used to be like considered like a top, top, top tier character. But now I'm struggling to name like more than one or two inkling players that even come to mind the character's been dropped off by so many players um not a bad character one of the best backers in the game got roller which grounds you uh one of the uh, Col Col coloronado yeah colorando um cypher uh good up air change as well too space from europe but yeah like you said space and cosmos we used to be playing inkling now play Aegis because it's like why not at this point um the character also doesn't have that much like 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 crazy X like stuff. Fundies are important. You can use some cheese with like roller and stuff, but yeah, like I said, you need to work really hard to get a lot of hits. Whereas characters like Bayonetta can just kill at the top of like 40%. 
Uh, Bayo, players like Frog, players like Lima. The character's still a force to be reckoned with, should not be slept on in any case at all. Super, like one of the, the queen of offstage play and multi hits. Oh, of course, Bloom Forever, how can I forget, from Europe. One of the best players in the world now with, with solo Bayo. Bayo also has good witch time, uh, a lot of cooldown after smash attacks. Um, and commitment to certain moves. She can be exploited now if you if you catch her uh, spamming move too much. You can sort of grab some of her more lazy options and approaches. Um, and she's lightweight enough where a good strong re can kill her. Um, yeah, and she also has a lot some 80-20 matchups. You know, like kind of like she, she reminds me of Meta Knight. I, unironically, the Queen of Smash Four and the King of Brawl have the same situation where they're kind of in the middle tier, but have some purely invalidated matchups. Um, Hero, king of RNG, not surprised in the middle of the tier list. You know, he's uh, in the fighters past when he came out, extremely controversial, but I think over time people just settled down and they, uh, they they figured out how to like, you know, uh, deal with his, his bullshit, deal with uh, the fact that at any point he can turn into a giant, but not really. He's got clearly some moves in the spell book uh, that are better than others. Most of the time, they're going to use Psych Up, Oom for Accelerado. Um, but he's limited, I think, by his by his lack of speed, slow startup on aerials. Uh, his up smash is terrible. Up up tilt is like strictly better, I think, than a lot of reasons for his movement. Uh, he's not too fast on the ground. Um, requires you a hit and run play style. And if you rush him down pretty hard and read where he's going to be, if he doesn't have zoom in his spell book, he's pretty easy to kill. Krom. Notice how much lower Krom is than Roy on the tier list. It's Krom. Almost about Krom. It's Roy with the an absolutely worse recovery. Um. Uh, I don't even actually don't think he should be this high. Krom Krom's recovery is one of the, is, a, is is almost a laughing stock. Like I'm a puff player, right? If you just put out a nair above Krom, that's it. That's it. He can't. He, there's, he, his recovery has no horizontal push. It's straight up. Straight down. Um, minus his recovery, he's a great character. My, he's, he's Roy. Roy's a great character, but it shows you how important the recovery is in the game. Not surprising that the worst two characters in the game are also the worst two recoveries. All I'm gonna say. Not surprised at all. Um, moving along, uh, Corin. Corin, I thought yeah, Corin high B it could be all right. Corin, we uh, of course Shattuck really showing what this character can do. Any of these characters when played one of could win a major, except for Krom. I'm not sure why he's here. Um, uh, insanely strong back air, up air, forward smash, side B pin is crazy. Um, tricky movement, uh, good grab game. Uh, recovery is hard to punish, um, but when you get the recovery from the side, it only goes kind of vertical and not too much horizontally. So, um, yeah, Corn's up air, but uh, contender for best in the game. Corn's up air is. Insane. It's a giant bubble above her with a huge knockback. Really, really good aerials. Uh, I would be very afraid of this character whenever you fight with Korn. Deadly. Falco, Mr. Cutscene combo himself. We've seen a lot. You've seen Tilde. You've seen Larry Lir. A uh, lot of Falco players around the world. I mean, this character is it's just, it's a great character overall. Um, you start with an insane up tilt. It's really good jab. Backer kills. Uh, Dare can spike every time it well. Laser can be a good little distance option. Um, platforms are your best friend. Uh, shine out of shield. Very fast character. Good edge options. Good overall. Very balanced. Recovery is good. Great edge guarding. Um, he's very lightweight. And I think that once uh, you get him off the stage, all it takes is one or two good reads to kill him. Um, but kind of like similar to melee in a way, but obviously not the powerhouse that he was in melee. Mainly because his laser got nerfed. Imagine if he had auto cancel laser. He'd be crazy. But, uh, yeah, it turns out that Leffen was wrong when the game came out. He is not the best character in the game. He is the 31st or something. I'm not too sure. Anyways, uh, Ness over here as well, and then Falcon. These I'm not too surprised about, uh, you know, Ness with, uh, with Send. Um, I'm trying to think of some other Ness players off the top of my head that do well. Character can have some in insane, uh, conversion, especially if you know how to use PSI and Magnet. Um... Nair is still really good. Yeah, Gact Syrup, thank you. Um, up B, uh, up B kill, PK2 is a really good, like, X-Factor option in case you're behind to get an early kill. Um, 
And uh, aerials are just phenomenal. Fair, super spammable. Very mash friendly character as well, too. Um, I think Ness could. I agree with Ness here. Ness could be low A, but I think high B here is fine. Um, along with Falcon. I think Ness and Falcon uh, are, are properly placed on this list. Falcon, you've seen players like Fatality, more recently Sean, uh, really put in work, Nick C. But um, I also do think, like, both these characters, what's their main flaw? It's offstage, right? You get one read on the offstage. As long as uh, you, you, as long as long Ness can't use that air dodge when he has the best air dodge in the game, his air dodge is in some ways better than his entire, like, up B um, to recover. And then Falcon can drift really hard as well. On Vidika as well with Falcon. There's a lot of people that still know how to use as a character as well. Uh, and uh, Falcon, kill potential, massive, up smash, massive. Um, knee setups, I remember he got that buff where Raptor Boost got fixed. Single hit nair to knee, insane. Uh, both these characters can kill you very, very early with uh, electric moves, ironically. Um, and yeah, Falcon kick really, really good. Especially, it can break shields. Uh, and, uh, you know, it, it's, it's just uh, these characters are where they belong. But again, any character up to this point can win entire majors, for sure. And they have, I'm pretty sure. All right, now we go to the A tier. We have made it in 42 minutes later. Let's go. Starting our A tier, look at this. Look at this familiar face in A tier. Mega Man and Me Brawler. Look at that. Me Brawler has got, look at, look at the distance between Me Brawler and the other Mii's. Insane. Can I zoom out? Look at that. Look at that distance. He's up here, over here, down here. That's wild. The distance, chat. Um, that shows the, the, how important design is. Mega Man, of course, has a lot of reps too. You know, MPG, Kamehameha before he played Sora. Uh, character has great kill potential, can spam a lot. Um, recovery is decent, Bloom's got, and then with Brawler, you got a lot of people who secondary Brawler really, really well, like Bloom and Esam. Uh, Brawler feels like the, they call him like the Ikea Fox or the Walmart Fox. A lot of the same design, same setups as Fox, but does it as well. Um, so, but yeah, easily, easily the best of the Mii's. They can do a whole video about how good he is, but just ask any of the people who play Brawlers. Um, soup can kill you so early, hilariously early. Um, he's got that really good shot put, which hasn't activated for a while, um, and can just be a really good rushdown character. Right above him is going to be uh, Ryu, Sheik, and Ken. I'm not sure why Sheik is between Ryu and Ken. I, I think I think these two should just be next to each other, but I guess Sheik is just in between in the, sh the Shoto sandwich. Uh, Ryu and Ken, of course, are the Shotos, turn around auto turnaround characters. Um, really, really good pressure on shield options. They got like instant spam down tilt and up tilt with the elbows. They can kill with, with the Shoryu really, really early too. Um, they handle very much similar to how they do in Street Fighter. Um, you know, they, they call you out with anti-airs. They call you out with with, uh, with Tatsus or with, uh, with Hadoukens. Like, you know, you, you see these characters handle. There's a lot of reward of getting good reads with them, but also uh, recovery. If you read a Tatsu, they're kind of fucked. Sheik is one of the most difficult, highest skill ceiling characters in the game. Earlier in the meta, well, not recently in the meta, Zachary called Sheik the best character in the game. One of the fastest in the game. Incredible mobility, incredible ability to put stuff on shield. You can get hit, the only problem is you get hit 14 times by Sheik and you, have, you take like 40%. Um, she, she can't kill as a meme for a reason. You have to really find a drag down up smash, a good bouncing fish. You gotta find it too. But she has the speed to make up for it. You put in time to this character, she will reward you. Greninja, very high. Very high on this list. I did not expect that. Greninja over Ryu, Ken, Sheik, Brawler, and Mega Man. Uh, Greninja, I don't agree with him being above uh, Ken, Ryu, and Sheik. But I also, I also think that... Um, uh, you know, has some good stuff. Very slippery. Uh, narrow to shield. Only problem is Greninja. What 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 he makes up for in speed, he lacks in like what he does to like. There's a there's an area above him diagonally where where he can't like do anything. You know what I mean? Um, he he has like almost like a blind spot there. Drag downs are really really good. He has these pillar combos that are absolutely deadly and scary. And I wouldn't want to deal with them. Um, 
yeah, and his defense is also very, very good. His up B, though, uh, especially with some rage, like his up B, you can sort of angle it trickily with the water gun, the water spout, and then also gimp people with the water as well. Um, annoying to play against. I think he's too high on this list because he has some weaknesses. Um, and out of shield game is very bad. Also, uh, Byleth. MK Leo's tried and true. You've seen. I don't need to say much about this character. Just watch Leo. Everything that Leo does is what this character can do. And it is scary as hell. And you've got one of the, the longest tether in the game. Some of the, the highest uh, power kill moves in the game. Strongest aerials. One of the strongest forward smashes. Um, this is very slow. Floaty slow. Um, but the up B, conveyor, up B to bear. One of the earliest kill confirms in the game. Um, yeah. Best recovery of any sortie in the game. Uh, and I think we've we have we've only scratched the surface. I think Lego's gonna do much more of this character. Um, Dress and Byleth too. Ariel's very strong. Just watch Sora, or just watch MK Leo. And then you got Sora, Sora, who I every time I see his face, I want to regret ever playing this game in the first place. Fucking hate this character, but he's good. He's good. His recovery is comedic. He has a. It's like his recovery is like a, a, a stand-up comedian's opening line, and in terms of how just silly it is baby's first character here you give your control to a five-year-old pick Sora he'll take a stock off you without knowing what a switch even is just so friendly to players so spamble mashable click a in the air so quick click B on the ground great projectiles fire thunder freeze like over and over and over and over he took a game off Onan exactly too, but I will say, uh, even though he's annoying, I gotta give it up to Kameme. Kameme in Japan, his Sora, really, really impressive, and really showed you uh, the whole the, the process of how easy it is to confirm an up smash off the sink, the uh, Nair one, Nair two, fast fall up smash. Uh, it's just very, very well done. Uh, scary. As a puff player, one of the, and floaty, one of the scariest matchups. Same with Terry. Same with Terry. Actually, uh, all all four of these characters can uh, can 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 suck my yeah. Uh, but and they're all next to each other. You know why? It's because they're very very good. Terry, uh, priority insane. Uh, so many moves that are plus on shield. Um, one of the best comeback mechanics in the game with Go with the Buster Wolf and Power Gazer. Uh, recovery can be tricky with the with the. Uh, crack shoot, um, burning knuckle, super strong, super strong. Up B out of shield too. He can kill you in any direction he wants. He has a good spike, crazy horizontal uh, kill moves, and then up B uh, out of shield, just really, really good to kill early. Um, he's a forgiving. He's a very forgiving um, fighting main character, um, and I, I agree with Terry being above Ryu and Ken. I think this, this is this is adequate. Not only above, he's I believe a. He's in the same tier as above, which is what I agree with. And then uh, Young Link, which is the best of the three Links. Not too surprised here. Players like Toast, players like Kobe, players like Jay Dizzle. I mean, they've dominated their regions for a little bit with this character. Insane. You take everything Link has, make him smaller, a bit weaker, crack up the speed like crazy. Uh, and you have like things like auto cancel back air into up smash. You got things like arrow arrow into fair. You got uh, up B out of shield which leads into up air. So many bread and butter combos that Toast unironically uses, which have made this character really really good. I think we're, we're going to see a lot more young links in the future. He's very spamble and very annoying to deal with. Um, and then following that as well too, you've got Olimar right after that. And speaking of spamble, I mean. Who, be, who else than Olimar, right? Olimar is, is the guy that you go to. Olimar is the guy that you go to when you need uh, a, a, a man with a plan. He, he's uh, you, using Pikmin in, in, in conjunction and overwhelming your opponent is what it is. You've seen the Buzz play this character. You've seen 34 play this character. Um, there's a lot of Olimars in Japan for some reason as well, too. Um, he used to be like un unironically top five in the game. Got some well-needed nerfs, but still very much well in uh, the A tier. Um, when you let's go boss Pikmin's recovery is very, very long. Um, only problem is he's tiny and very, very light. You can die there too. Um, and if you know how to deal with Pikmin and know how to kill them very quickly off you, I think depending on your character's Nair, your character's out of shield option, depends on how quickly you can kill 
uh, the Olimar, and, and uh, the, 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 the uh, Pikmin, rather. So, very matchup dependent on this, but clearly a, a disgustingly good character. And now we go to A+, my friends. A+, a lot of these characters are going to become a lot more familiar as we go along. A+, Sephiroth. We all know Sephiroth. We all love Sephiroth. Tweaks Delight, Ken's Delight. Um, you know, the character, I think, rightfully belongs in the A tier. Maybe a little lower. Um, but, you know, he's, he's just uh, really, really phenomenal what you can do if you know how to space aerials really properly and if you know how to, like, aim that mid spot. Um, I would have probably put him in A-, minus, if I'm being honest. Um, but I don't think... It's hard for me to justify, like, Sephiroth over... Seth over Olimar. Yeah, I, I would have put Seth over A-. A minus. So that, that, this, this part's a little wrong. Um, but, uh, yeah, Terry might be better, too. If you need more info, info on, on, on Seth, just watch Tweak Sephiroth. Watch Ken. They've got amazing results. Um, rarely solo main, though. Uh, Ned, as well. Ned does really well, too. Zero Suit Samus. You've got Mars. Well, Mars is opposite from other characters, too. Mars, even recently, two Genesis ago, had a really good run. Character's obviously still amazing. The stun that she has, the speed that she has, the offstage game. Uh, the, the flip kick, the uh, up inside of shield, the speed alone, her jab. I go on and on about Zero Suit. You know, she's just crazy good, even though she sucks, right? Uh, shout outs to Shu, also. Look at Shu's Zero Suit Tamus. I think she's really pushing the character to uh, uh, another limit. And I like uh, I like the, how fitting it is that Zero Suit Samus and Samus, for the first time, are next to each other on a, a, a tier list. <laughs> That's so funny. That's insane. The way it should be. The way it should be. Samus, uh, with the results of Ziski, Ziski especially, has made his way into A plus tier. Above Zero Suit. Wait, Samus is above Zero Suit. <laughs> That's the first time ever. First time ever. Um, Samus, very tricky, very floaty. You got the charge shot, you got the grapple, you've got the char oh, the hiccups, you got the charge cancels, you got the up tilts, you've got the uh, really long patient recovery, you got missiles, quick as quick as well. Um, back air incredibly strong. Um, fair the reach of his aerials super long. Or her aerial, sorry. The, the reach of her aerials is super strong. Yeah, Ice Miss is another one, and um, uh, I think that you're o the only thing limiting how fast this character move is you as a player. I think that when you realize just the amount of options she has to cancel things and move on the ground and use pivot grabs, uh, she's extremely fast. A lot more than she gets credit for. Crazy, crazy uh, technical options. Easy to pick up as well. Wario. Wah, wah, wah. Glutony has proven what this character can do, even post nerfs. He had a very unjustified nerf on his uh, waft. I think it might be a little too low, but he's down here with Samus, Trainer, Lucina. And of course, you know, Wario's got Brandon Butters, down till dash tack, up air, up air, up air, up air, up air, one of the best covers in the game with the bike. Ledge setups the bike as well, too. Um, up tilt is really, really good. This character was secondary heaven for a bit. You can name like 10 different, 10 different top players who had a Wario secondary. Um, and of course, he's won tournaments and Gluto continues to win tournaments. But you've seen now Gluto even has trouble in Europe playing Wario. It happens, happens too as well. Uh, Pokemon Trainer used to be a top five character for me. But I think now, given change to the meta, I agree with Pokemon Trainer being down here. Um, I think Pokemon Trainer could have been up, could, could have been up here in the S tier still. Uh, it's three characters in one at the end of the day. And I do think um, just knowing how to exactly switch, knowing when to use each of, each of them, um, and knowing how to play against each of those three Pokemon gives it a relative balance across the board. So, PT is now in uh, A plus tier. And then to round out A plus tier, you've got Lucina, Mario, and Yoshi. Uh, Lucina, again, Queen of Fundies. If you know how to move, if you know how to space, and you know how to read your opponent, Mr. E and many other players have proven Lucina is an absolute menace. 
even Le Leo back in the day, Spargo, anyone who plays a sortie, Proto, oh, how can I forget Proto? Um, you get back here by Lucina, you're dead, you're dead. Off the, off the stage, you're just not recovering. Mario with Karama, Dark Wizzy, and now I have really been pushing this character to what it could do. Um, you got obviously like, you've got re you've got really good uh, ladder combos. Anywhere that you can see up air to fair is pretty true as well. And I think Karama is only gonna get better from where he goes. Character can clearly win major tournaments. Yoshi, right above Mario. Um, Yoshi above Mario. Uh, I, I still, you know why Yoshi is here, guys? It's Japan. Japan uh, has, not just tax evasion, Japan has put Yoshi here. And props to Yoshi Dora. He's amazing. He's fucking incredible. He's so good. All right. Someone's saying Yoshi was 25th in the US, 7th in Japan. Yeah, we'll go over the details in a second. Um, but I guess the only uh, bargaining card is that he's an A tier, not S tier. Speaking of S tier, let's finish the list. Let's finish the list. Our S tier, the best characters in the game. Shulk, Monado, Broken, Stupid, Insane. How insane you can live with this, how long on this character, how early you can kill. Monado, best B-move in the entire game. No shocker is the, in there. Jared is king, just watch it again too. Fucking wild ass character and Kome from Japan, insane. Mr. Game & Watch, you got Mia in Japan, you got Meister in North America. Mr. Two Frame Up, he had a shield option. Mr. Kills you super early with bombs on platforms. Uh, X Factor with the hammer. You've also got Nair to shield. If you get Nair once, you take 55%, three frames, sorry. And then you got aerials across the board that are good. And then you also got um, back air that can kill you very, very late, or very, very early if you, if you read you far off the ledge. Insanely high recovery too. Palutina used to be like top five in the game. Still in S tier as promised. Um, very, very good mobility, insane back air, insane up air, able to spam uh, flame and, and uh, auto reticle, able to use nair to shield into auto nair combos over and over and over. Um, and then, of course, you have just uh, a, a lot of, of ways to um, gimmick people, especially off the stage. Uh, tilts are good, uh, up smash is very strong and powerful, and I do think... Um, you know, if you're picking up a character for the first time, just use her bear and her fair, and it'll kind of explain for itself. There's powers all across the country that are good. Louis Money, Chase, Chag, and a lot of other ones, of course, um, overseas. Uh, he's a great character, um, and you will always see Palatina. Quinn, you'll always see Palatina in the very, very top. Um, Min Min! Min Min, Fighters Pass 2, one of the most hated characters upon release still to this day. Her range is absolutely insane. Her recovery is bad, but you can spam with this character to your heart's desire all the way to the end of days, all right? That is where Min Min belongs, and she'll be there for a while. You can switch out. You can also get really, really uh, early kills with the, the Meatball. The Buzz uses Min Min. Just uses Min Min. Peckham uses Min Min. Um, Protobanum uses Min Min. Uh, to all great results, and they've all won big tournaments with this character, right? Um, okay, and now Snake. I think Snake is gonna go. Snake is only gonna go higher and higher and higher. Huge shout outs to my boy Apollo Kage, really pushing this character to the limit. Uh, had some own wins of himself here as well too. I mean, what's there to say about this character? The best projectiles in the game, grenade. Fucking C4, the up B Cypher, the Nikita, the up tilt, which kills so early at the same time, the Nair, the down air, the back air, the ability to ch trap your characters, the down tilt, the forward tilt. He's a powerhouse. He has not a single bad move, it feels like. Dash tech. Uh, he even has a bazooka force master feeling saucy as hell. Um, explosions everywhere. He will overwhelm you. He is Michael Bay, the character, in real time. And, um,. Yeah, there's, it's almost impossible to make this character bad. I'm not surprised that both in Ultimate and Brawl, he's a top tier character. I mean, it is, it is where he belongs. Next to him, his neighbor is Pac-Man. Should be a shocker to no one. Fuck this character and his stupid recovery. Can recover anywhere. From any country you want, Pac-Man can recover. Hydra invalidates half the stage and you're forced to jump over it. He can charge up his fruit to get a bell, which stuns you into a guaranteed kill. Or use a key, which he can throw at you and kill you at super early percents. Um, 
Etoile did some damages? No, I beat Etoile. Ask him yourself. But if I play against a really good Pac-Man like T, I'm sure it'll be over. He's tricky. Has a curve. Uh, he has a high skill ceiling, but also near to shield fair. His aerial drift, um, just really, really good. And if you know how to use that power pellet too, you can get some up air chain combos. And then pack pellet, kill him at like 70%. It's disgusting. Go watch a top. Go watch a, 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 a top level Pac-Man. It's it's absolutely wild. Pikachu actually fall from grace here. Pico is number one on my tier list, but now players agree Pikachu is not even in the highest tier. They have Pikachu here, S minus tier. Um, probably because of the lack of ESAM results. And Pika no longer being busted. Wow, not even top 10. Shiny Mark uh, probably carrying the character a good bit with some others. Um, but yeah, just not very much results lately. Hoping someone else picks his character up and brings Pikachu back to the... To the uh, prestige that they once had diddy kong tweaks diddy kong need i say anything else what can this character not do with banana what can this character not edge guard insanely technical uh, peak for this character you can get so aaron aaron as well too um you can get so much uh tricks and so much force your opponent into so many places um just by having a banana out. Just by having that intonation factor. Uh, fares, his fair, his back air, his dare. Aerials are good across the board. Peanut gun can be B reversed. And there it is. Up B can be used to recover in whichever which direction that you want. I like turtles. Me too. And it just Diddy Kong is a great character. He's also one of the characters that it's impossible to be bad in any game just by design. He has, a, of course, a wall cling as well too. Uh, up airs are fast and it's, it's very, very sick. And then you got Wolf. Mr. Fundies as well. You got to, again, great start of character. Shout out to my boy Ouch specifically for really pushing this character in some great directions. Um, a lot of people, Jackal, a lot of people, uh, you know, a lot of people have been using this character. And if you if you just know how to play ultimate from a fundamental level, you're going to do good in this character. Insanely strong aerials. Uh, relatively easy to play and pick up. Good blaster. Good back air. Uh, Nair is insane and out for a while too. Um, you know, uh, and you can do some really easy bread and butter combos, down throw, dash tech, uh, easy to pick up, just all around good character, almost no weaknesses at all. Even though his recovery is not long, it's fast, has a lot of priority. Here we go. Top 10 characters in the game. Number 10 is Cloud. Spargo. Spargo wins a lot. This character, limit break, insane. Up B, you got finishing touch. You got side B, you got neutral B. Cloud's back air is a <laughs> is a war crime. Cloud's back air is a war crime. It should be tried at court. I have no idea why it's so big, but it's there. Ariel's all good. His up air is as, as out for a year. His dash attack kills. Um, his worst part of this character is his recovery. Cross slash, by the way, 20, 22%. The fuck? Um, and it comes out so quick. Um, if you know how to edge guard Cloud, it's there. But you know what? Cloud can fix that by saving a limit break. So even that, he has to cover. This is one of the best guys in the game, rightfully so in the top 10. Number 9! Peach! Slash Daisy. Dude, Peach and Daisy? Can we get an M for Mute Ace? This man almost won all of Genesis. Character that's one of the hardest to play in the entire game rewards you for how much time you put in. Rightfully so, and Umeki in Japan. Crazy character, crazy combos. We respect Peach players. Roy, number eight. Roy is everything you want in a sword character. It is stunning kill potential, jab back air, rush down, speed, spamble ability, swinging at ghosts, decent, pretty decent recovery that goes at a, at a tricky angle. Jairs on days, back air is good, up airs uh, all around, the hitbox is very active, very strong, and very piercing. Just everything he does hits like a truck, and that's why he's always going to be up here. Salt one, of course, one of Roy's best reps always comes to mind, but a lot of the other, other top players have used Roy as a secondary, including Gluto and some others. Okay, number seven, Kazuya! Kazuya. Holy shit. We have a placement for Kazuya. Top 
Seven in the game. For your new viewers, just know that Kazuya breaks a lot of the fundamentals in Smash Bros. Kazuya has a move called the EWGF. Contender for the best move in the entire game. Not necessarily easy to put out, but if you practice it is. Stuns you. It comes out. I don't know how fast. Um, on a flat stage, a cause you can zero to death every character. Just as is. You down throw, electric wind, god fist. Um, and then you just continue the combo and, and you land it into a finisher with up smash or up B. And it is just insane. The character is auto turn around. Easily the best fighting character in this game. It's not even close. Leagues above Terry, leagues above uh, Ryu and Ken. Um, yeah, down throw, electric nair, electric demon god fist, dragon uppercut. Boom. No sugar coating. Go watch Riddles play. It's sickening. Number six is Rob. And I believe there's a Zomba tweet that says if Rob is above Palutena on this list, it's invalidated. Uh, I got some bad news for you. Rob is definitely top six. Rob's an insane character. I don't care how big he is. I don't care the Johns. I mean, how many options does this character have? He has a zero to death with the with with the gyro toss Z drop. He has a laser which goes across the stage. He has one of the best recoveries in the game. He has the best down tilt in the entire game. He has one of the best nares in the entire game. He's heavy. He has got a, a nair which will make you cry. He's got a back air which kills. He's got grounding options. He's got up smash which can kill you really early too. One of the best up airs too as well. He robs games. Does he have weaknesses? Sure. You know what the weakness is? The weakness is you. You're the reason Rob loses. Next up, number five, Fox Mick Loud. Light's Delight. Such a good character. Such incredible speed. Such incredible comp potential. Nair to up smash. Clap for it. Best kill confirm and most reliable can confirm, I think, in the entire game. For a move that comes out that quickly. I mean, it's it's just... You you can't complain with this character. He's lightweight, and thank God he is. Fox was this close to being not balanced. But he is, thankfully. And even if it's just light, his results are so bizarrely good that it's all it takes. So there's light as well. Doing and work with that character. Um, I mean, you can use Reflect as both tools intended or the melee one as well. Up air juggles. Uh, Nair to jab is still an easy like 25% confirm to 30 depending on how many times it hits uh, Laser can be used across the stage to sort of you know uh, tease your opponent taunt your opponent coming in um, Back air super fast super strong kill move You can use back air over and over on shield and wait till the shield whittles down to hit their head um, You can use Nair good at a shield options uh, Recovery is good too with side being up he goes a long distance You'd be surprised just how far the up he goes and how much Fox can actually magnet hands to grab, grab the ledge. He's a great character, and I think he can be picked up pretty easily as well. We're almost done. We're almost done. Sonic! Sonic is the fourth best character in the game. He's in the S tier. But there's an S minus, S neutral, and S plus tier. He is not in S plus tier. He is the best character not in S plus tier. Go watch Sonic's! I don't even need to say much about this character at all. I don't need to say anything about this character. Fastest in the game, Spin Dash. Spin Dash, Spring, Spin Dash, Bear, Nair, Spin Dash, Homing Attack, Up Air, Back Air. So much speed. One of the most highest priorities for us in the game. Really strong tilt move. Um, barely, I don't think that he has a single losing matchup. Maybe one or two. But I think he has some of the best, has potentially the best matchup spread in the entire game. Um, I'm not going to harp on him too much longer because it's Sonic. He's insane. Uh, go talk to Sonics. Everyone agrees. Top four in the end. All right, you guys ready? Y'all ready for the top three? Y'all ready? Here we go. Here we go. The third best character in Super Smash Brothers Ultimate is... Joker! Used to be the best character. He used to be the best. 
Until uh, this little thing called Fighters Pass 2 happened. <laughs> Until this little thing called Fighters Pass 2 happened. Joker. And shout outs to MK Leo. Arsene, one of the best comeback tools in the game. Gun, what a good projectile. Aerial's insane. Uh, grapple, even without Arsene. Um, super fast. It's like kind of chic on crack. Backer, great. Um, Arsene alone, just what an amazing tool that is. If you know how to get Arsene and know how to use Rebel's Guard to charge it up, it's done. It's a done deal. This character has the best backer in the entire game. Has uh, some of the just the, the best out of shield options. Some of the best, well not out of shield, best ways to kill, right? Either with up air, using a side B, uh, which goes a real long distance. Um, up B goes a huge distance as well as two. Uh, and you still, Cloud still has the best bear in the game. I think Arsene Bear is better than Cloud's back here. That's just me. Um, you know, uh, you got the gun as well. Uh, just the character all around can find a win as long as you look hard enough. Joker has all the tools that you need. Again, I'm not going to go uh, on it too much. It's just super fucking sick character. Um, number two in the game. What do we think? It's Aegis! Pyra and Mithra. Rightfully so. Uh, you've got one of the characters with the absolute best frame data in the entire game, Mithra. Versus one of the characters with the strongest kill confirms and kills kill moves that there is the game to offer, Pyra. You want to recover horizontally, Mithra. You want to recover vertically, Pyra. Um, butter them up and finish them. The Beyblades... You've seen them so many times now. Uh, just watch a character for five minutes and you'll understand why they are as high as they are. Um, every tool you possibly need and their only weakness is taking advantage of that recovery, which is still tricky. And the moment I've been waiting for. Can I please get a punch trees in the chat? Because the number one character in the game is uh, a Minecraft character. It's here. We've made it, chat. We've made it. Minecraft Steve was the best character in Ultimate. And if you need me to explain why, then welcome to my channel because this is clearly the first video you've ever watched. I... No one should be able to build their own platforms in a platform fighter. I said it. This character is incomplete. It was not. They they forgot a patch. Diamond sword, minecart, back air, down tilt, TNT, glide, up smash. Steve, best character in the game. And this is your first ever official. Tier list for Super Smash Brothers Ultimate brought to you by Ult Rank. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Who was too high? Who was too low? It's there right there.